solving quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Bueno, baka familiar ka na sa quadratic formula. That is the negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Pero saan nga ba galing si quadratic formula? Since formula yan, yan so dapat may origin siya. Saan nga ba siya nagmula? Bueno, bago natin gamitin itong formula, dapat alamin mo natin kung saan nga ba yung pinagalingan niya. So, nanggaling yan sa ating standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, isulat natin dito. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Gamit ang ating standard form at ang completing the square, makukuha natin si quadratic formula. So, gamitin natin yung process ng completing the square. Isolate natin si constant term. In this case, si C. So, meron tayong ax squared plus bx is equal to negative C. Meron tayong numerical coefficient dito na A. So, i-divide muna natin yung buong equation ng A. So, i-divide natin dito ng A. Ganoon din yung right side. Now, we have A divided by A, that is X squared na lang, plus B divided by A, B over A. Then, we have the variable X is equal to negative C over A. O, bakit meron tayong mga letters dyan? Kasi hindi natin alam yung exact value nila. So, ginagamit natin yung mga numerical coefficient. Now, gawin na natin siyang PST. The perfect squared trinomial. So, we have x squared plus b over ax plus blank is equal to negative c over a plus blank. Ano ngayon ilalagay natin sa blank? So, gamitin natin yung shortcut. The middle term b over a divided by 2 o magiging multiply na lang natin sa 1 half then square natin b times 1 that's b over a times 2 to a then square natin now meron tayo lalagyan natin dyan ay b square all over 2 square 4 then a square a squared. So, ilalagay natin sa ating blank i. Erase natin yung blank kasi fraction. B squared all over 4A squared. So, dito din. B squared all over 4A squared. Ayan. Next. Gawin natin siyang square of a binomial. So, we have x Copy the sign of the middle term plus square root of b square, b over square root of 4 to a raised to 2 is equal to, simplify natin, LCD natin, ang denominator is a chaka 4a squared. So, ang LCD natin ay 4a squared. Yeah. Then, 4a squared divided by a, 4a, times the numerator, negative c, so negative 4ac. Then we have, copy b squared. Kasi parehas na sila ng denominator. Now, extract the square root. Get the square root. Yan. Then, Oh, wala na yan. Squared natin. May iwan na lang si x plus b over 2a is equal to ang numerator natin ac is not the perfect square number. Then binomial siya. So, may iwan sila. Positive, negative, square root of negative 4ac plus b squared. All over Itong denominator, perfect square numbers. 
So, pwede natin siyang ilabas sa ating parenthesis. So, square root of 4, 2, tsaka A na lang. So, yan. Then, continue natin dito. So, mangyayari, ilipat natin si B over 2A. Transpose natin, may iwan na lang si X. Is equal to negative B all over 2A. Nilipat natin siya. Lagyan na natin sa unahan. Then, positive, negative, square root of negative 4AC plus B square. Meron tayong denominator. Over 2A. Yan. Then, since similar fraction sila, pwede natin i-combine. So, X is equal to negative B plus minus square root of negative 4AC plus B square all over denominator natin 2A. Equal na ba sila? Yan. So, in this case, nauna lang si B square. Pero pwede natin i-interchange dito. So, X is equal to negative B, positive negative B square root of B square, siya yun, minus 4AC all over 2A. And this is now our quadratic formula. So, ayan si, complete, uh, si origin of quadratic formula. So, dapat master mo talaga yung ating completing this square at si extracting these square roots. So, ayan ang origin ng ating quadratic formula. Proceed tayo ngayon sa solving gamit ang ating formula. Proceed tayo sa solving examples. Yung quadratic formula natin na x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Isolve natin ang x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. So, ang first step natin, identify mo natin yung ating A, B, and C. So, yung A natin dito ay yung my variable na x squared. So, in this case, understood na yan ay 1. Yung B natin, yung second term natin, may variable na x, so negative 5. Then, yung C natin, yung ating constant term, which is negative 14. Okay. Then, isulat natin yung ating formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then, saka natin isubstitute yung mga given values. So, negative Ang B natin is negative 5 plus or minus square root of B is negative 5 square minus 4 times A natin ay 1 times C natin ay negative 14. All over 2 times A natin 1. Sa pagsusulat ng ating radical sign, dapat kung saan yung number, doon din siya mag end Hindi mo pwedeng i-cut lang hanggang dyan. Hindi siya pwedeng in lang. Dapat hanggang dito. So, we have negative times negative 5, positive 5, plus minus square root of negative 5 square. That is negative 5 times negative 5. 25. Then we have negative times negative, positive. 4 times 1, 4 times 14. So 14 times 4, 4 times 4, 16, carry 1. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So 56 all over 2 times 1, 2. Now how we have 5 plus minus square root of 25 plus 56. So, add natin si 25. 1, carry 1, 81. So, 81 
over two. Next, five plus minus square root of 81. So perfect square number is 81, which is nine over two. Write that in the end. So, we are applying two values for x. So, x is equal to 5, the positive 9, then over 2. Let's say x sub 1. At yung x sub 2 natin, 5 minus 9 over 2. 5 plus 9, 14 over denominator 2. Simplify, that is 7. And next, x sub 2 is equal to 5 minus 9, negative 4 over 2. So x sub 2 is equal to negative. And those are the values of our x sub 1 is 7, x sub 2, negative 2. Another example time. Our second example. 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 is equal to 0. So identify mo natin si A, B, and C. Our A is 2, B, 3, and C, negative 27. Yan. And substitute natin sa formula. So pag-memorize, okay lang kahit din isulat. Diretso substitution na tayo. Negative, B natin is 3, positive, negative, square root of, B natin is 3, then we have the square, minus 4 times, A natin is 2, times, C natin I, negative 27. Again, kung hanggang sa ayong number, hanggang doon din natin yung radical sign. All over, 2 times, ang A natin is 2. Then, simplify na natin. So, X is equal to 3, positive negative square root of 3 square, 9, negative times negative, so positive, 4 times 2, that is 8. 8 times 27. So, derecho na natin. 27 times 8. So, 8 times 7 is 56. Carry 5. 8 times 2, 16. Plus 5, 21. So, 216. So, 216. All over. 2 times 2. That is four. Next, x is equal to negative three, positive or negative square root of nine plus two hundred sixteen. Uh, two hundred twenty-five, all over four. X is equal to negative three, positive negative. The square root of 2, 2, 5. Perfect number siya. Uh, yes. 15 square. Or 15 times 15. So, 15 na lang. All over 4. Ayan. So, again, we are trying two values for x. The passive and the negative. So, x sub 1 is equal to negative 3 plus 15 over 4. And the x sub 2 Negative 3 minus 15 over 4. So, negative 3 plus 15, that is 12 over 4. Simplify, 12 divided by 4, 3. At yung isa, negative 3 minus 4, that is negative 18 over 4. Simplify natin. That is negative 9 over 2. X sub. 
So, yan yung ating values ng x. 3 and negative 9 over 2. And our last example, number 3. 3x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. Identify a, b, and c. Our a is 3. b, negative 4. And see natin dito, wala tayong constant. So, 0. Then, substitute na natin. So, x is equal to negative b. So, negative negative 4, si B natin. Plus, minus, square root of negative 4 square minus 4 times, ang A natin is 3, times, ang C natin ay 0. So, 0. All over, 2 times, A natin is 3. Is equal to Negative times negative, so we have positive 4 plus minus square root of negative 4 square. 16 minus 4 times 3 times 0, 0. All over 6. 4 positive negative square root of 16 minus 0, 16. All over copy 6. Simplify natin. 4 plus minus square root of 16. Uh, 16 is a perfect square number. So, 4 over 6. Yan. So, again, we're trying two values for x. We have x sub 1 is equal to 4 plus the positive 4 over 6. At yung isa, x sub 2 is equal to 4 minus 4 over 6. So 4 plus 4, 8 over 6. Simplifying to lowest term, 4 over 3. At yung isa, 4 minus 4, 0 over 6, and that is 0. So, ayan ang ating quadratic formula. Madali lang yan pag madaming practice. So, i-practice ninyo yung mga modules ninyo o kaya yung handbook para mas madali ninyo masolve ang quadratic equation.